to my channel and this is Urvashi and in today's video I am going to create a landing page for the same concept that I have created in my previous video which is mental health app. So I have all the sets with me, the illustration, the buttons, the content, everything is with me. So now what I am going to do is I am going to add some layout grid to this desktop uh, frame and I have already added some grids here which is 12 columns with the margin as 60 and gutter as 24 okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag the logo from this frame to the new one and for that you can hold the alt key or option key to duplicate the logo now i will uh, align this uh, properly and uh, i will just increase the size of the logo a bit so that it is much more visible to the eyes and now what I am going to do, I am going to align this carefully. Okay, now what I am going to do is, I am going to add the uh, links here with the button for the login or sign up. So I will do this later, I will focus on this part first of all. Okay, so I will copy the illustrations from, from my previous design to create this particular landing page so uh, i will add a background color to this one a subtle background color not very harsh one that i have added here the same color now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this illustration from here like this or yeah like this i will just increase the size of this uh, illustration a bit We can do one thing here, I guess. Uh, okay, fine. I will increase the size of this illustration a bit. I will uh, finalize this illustration later. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to add the same uh, tagline that I have added on the onboarding screen. This is not an onboarding screen, but I am creating landing page with the same uh, lines as the onboarding screen. Just to give you an example, how you can create the landing page. Landing page is different. Okay, landing page is, is the entire page, the website entire home page. Okay, the first page you land on when whenever you open any website. That is the landing page. Okay. And here I am creating the hero section of the landing page. The first section that appear whenever you open any website. And that section is known as hero section. So I am here creating the hero section of the landing page. Okay. So don't get confused in that. So I will just assign some uh, font size to it and uh, i will keep the line height as auto and uh, like this now i will increase the size of this body font as well uh, i will keep it a as a 28 maybe 28 is more i will keep it as a 24 67 is the largest size that I use sometimes for my website designs uh, and I want to add here something whenever you are creating any landing page or you are creating any website uh, the largest font size is only used on the hero section only on the one section of any page because we can't use that huge size everywhere. So always remember to use the largest font size of your website design only on one section which is hero section. I use it on hero section only and then uh, I use the uh, smaller font sizes for different sections. Okay, so this is the largest size that I have used for my website design in some projects. So 67 is fine and I will just... Uh, adjust this one 
I will align the logo with this or we can align this with the grid as well. I will increase the size of this padding. Seventy-eight is fine. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to add a button here. Okay, so it's a simple one. It doesn't. It will not take much time for me to create this one. because we have already created this uh, concept before and in my next video i will uh, try to create all the all the all the pages inside of these tabs so that you know how you can create yours okay now what i am going to do is i am going to let this button here but i am going to decrease the padding and increase the size of this uh, font here so uh, i will make it 20 and with a font weight of semi bold and yeah like this and now what i am going to do is i am going to create one more button which is learn more it will be a tertiary button tertiary button is uh, are always with the underline a text with the uh, at underline text it's always a tertiary button i use it as a tertiary button so you can also do that so here i'm going what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the color of the background from here and i will add the underline to this text and make it this blue color okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease the padding and will align this properly with this particular button learn more okay like this so i uh, you can also add some uh icon icon as well with this uh button as well like arrow or something arrow something like that okay so i will make it as a bold okay so the important part of the hero section is created now i will add the links here with the sign in and login sign up and login buttons and also i will uh, try to add something here because it will it it looks a bit empty here so let's see i will uh, align them properly okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some links here and uh, i will add some extra element here as well because it looks empty that's why yeah I'm going to change the illustration that i have placed on the home page or hero section okay so i will uh, add this one to the whole hero section and add some uh, elements behind it but not in this way i will try to create something else creatively okay so here i will increase the size of this illustration like this and uh, i will add some elements behind this okay to make it look more beautiful and attractive okay yeah so what i am going to do now i will uh, i am going to add this one the elements behind the scene like this one okay so i will copy this one by holding alt key or option key and yeah just a second i will shift this aside and i will give this a uh, angle something like this and will shift it shift this one here to make it look um, uh, like it is coming from behind the canvas okay i will uh, click on send to back uh, if you want to if you want any layer uh, at the bottom so you can do one thing if there are so many layers here and you are not able to do that 
you can just right click on any layer and then you can select send to back and it will uh, send the selected layer to the back automatically like this so you don't have to drag it because it takes lots of efforts to drag the uh, layer when there are so many layers in your workstation okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease the opacity of this particular element which is 50 i will keep it as a 50. just a second let me check we'll keep it as a 80 maybe or 70 70 is fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this one as well here and increase the size okay now what i will do is i will uh, this looks a bit uh, incomplete so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a frame inside of which i will keep these two girls okay so for that i will create a frame I'm trying something here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to create something beautiful, something eye catchy. Okay. So, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, links uh, at the top. Okay. So, I will do it first. regular with size 18 medium is fine now i will just drag it and i will type explore our counselors about and contact us now what I am going to do is I am going to add the auto layout to this so that it will be aligned neatly. So for that I will select all of these. You can uh, drag or uh, drag your cursor like this by uh, clicking on your uh, keyboard keypad like this and select all of them or you can just do it by uh, holding shift key and select one by one. Okay so I will add the auto layout to this. You can add from here as well or you can just use the shortcut which is shift plus A. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to add some padding here which is 56 and align this in the center. Now I will add the button at the top for the sign up or login. Sign up is fine. Okay, I will I will change the size of it to 18 and change the padding as well to 12 and just okay. Yeah. So I will add the auto layout to three of them to align them better. Okay. So that is how you can create your own landing page yeah i know it looks a bit off so i will do something else here uh, i will change the illustration i will increase the size of this one as well okay now i will add the different illustration here. or maybe the same one that i was using uh, previously this one is fine. This one is good. I haven't used it. So I will keep this here. 
like this I will add some corner radius as well to make it look more beautiful also I will decrease the opacity of this element to 50 and I will add some padding here this is very large okay like this okay oh, so I will assign the auto layout auto so increase the size of the illustration a bit and align it a bit now I will add some uh, drop shadow to the illustration to make it look a bit popped out and for that I will use the same share of drop shadow with 30 opacity or maybe 20 is fine with 80 as a blur now i will remove the grids to see how it looks like and i will in decrease the size of this one because this size is not the proper desktop size uh, the hero section should not be scrollable and for that I will decrease the size of this uh, frame and also increase the size of the font okay so that will resonate with the illustration beside it okay now what I am going to do is I am going to just align it properly and we are done with it. So it's done. I have created the very simple looking, very soothing uh, hero section for this mental health app. I have chosen this pastel colors because it kind of evoke a feeling of relaxation and it is very necessary for any mental health app because so many of you asked me how you have chosen the mental health app colors so that's how i have chosen it because pastel colors uh, evoke the feeling of the relaxation and that's why that and that's why i have used these colors for this concept so based on your con concept you should choose your colors otherwise it will not resonate with your app or a website concept so always think before you start designing anything on the colors and fonts you are using so that's all for today i hope you all guys enjoyed this video and if you did then do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and hit that like button and do not forget to follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. Link is in the description. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.